Well, the Super Bowl was once again the Super Bore. Gee, what a surprise there. And I thought the halftime show was going to be boring and forgettable. Matter of fact, I didn't even watch the halftime show because I thought the first half of that game was so forgettable and ultimately boring. Listen, after Cam Newton on the third play of the game overthrew his wide receiver so poorly in terms of the third play for the Carolina offense, I kind of had a feeling it was going to be a long day. But what a miserable performance by both teams offensively. Listen, if you like defense, if you're one of those guys that goes to baseball games because you want to see one nothing and 2-1 finals, you probably also like World Cup soccer as well. And I just have no time for you or for games like that. No, I want to see a game that goes down to the last minute like Seattle and New England last year. I want to see a game that's 34-30. You know, that's the type of game I want to see as a fan and often as a gambler as well. But I didn't sell my soul for the game yesterday. If you have been watching my video reports coming up to yesterday's Super Bowl, uh, if you read my website yesterday, you know how I felt about the game. It was just another game. Listen, my plays are rated between 5, 10, and 15 dimes. 99.9% .9 of them are. Yesterday was a 10-dime play. It was no more or no less important in my eyes than the 10 dime play I had two Mondays ago with Iowa State upsetting Kansas. And it was not nearly as strong as my top rated 15 dime winner, number nine out of 11, with Michigan State hammering uh, Michigan in Ann Arbor on Saturday, or Temple over Tulsa on Thursday, uh, or Washington over Arizona State or Wednesday, or Monmouth again winning last Monday. Those plays were bigger. Now, some guys had big plays yesterday on the game. Tracy Adams, as a matter of fact, I talked about him on yesterday's video report. Did he sell his soul in the game? Absolutely not. The guy had made $1 betters $55,000. $55,000 the previous 117 days. He lost yesterday. Lost his double your wager winner number 17 out of 22, which means he had won 16 of the previous 21. When you got a bankroll, you got to step up to the plate, and that's when you got to press it. But congratulations to the guys that did win. Congratulations to Craig Davis. You talk about an exit strategy. You talk about a guy taking a golden parachute, right? Yesterday was his last day at the site here after seven years. He goes out with a bang. Uh, what, a ninth or tenth straight 100 dime max wager winner on the Broncos, and he finishes by making $10 betters over $12,000 since New Year's Day. But I wish him well. We move forward. A lot of hot handicappers here at the site. Listen, guys, I'm in a rush. I've got to get to the airport here in a couple of minutes or else I'm not going to make that plane. And I'm the type of guy, listen, I don't get to the airport until 22 minutes before the plane leaves. My wife, on the other hand, she would like to go two days prior. Oh, the arguments and the, the looks I've gotten when I haven't gotten there in time, in her time over the years. I can only tell you, and probably a lot of you know what I'm talking about. But anyway, uh, let me get to the complimentary play here. Listen, the charity play of the week is going today. Uh, Gabriel DuPont, who has this underdog ACC game of the year on the uh, Duke-Louisville uh, contest. That's over half price off today. And uh, another winner, maybe, from Josh Duffy. The new kid on the block here who has reared off five straight winners, including a 50-dime sweep yesterday with the Broncos and the um, under. He has a play going today, and for the third straight time you've gotten selection so far, it'll be for over half price off. All that on the homepage. Guys, I'm going to go with Clemson and Notre Dame to stay under the posted total. They're sitting at 138.5 points now uh, tonight. Uh, first of all, FYI, this game is not at Little John. Uh, you know, Clemson is renovating their stadium, so they're actually hitting a bus, and they move 30 miles over to Greenville to play this game. Um, I think it's a good spot to take the under because I think that you have the classic letdown situation for Notre Dame. The Irish rallied from an 18-point deficit to upset North Carolina as a three-point home dog on Saturday. Here they are, less than 48 hours on the road, playing their third game in six days. I think the letdown factor, the road fatigue, all works to our advantage tonight to take the under in this game. Plus, you have one of the top defensive teams in the nation in Clemson, 17th ranked in the nation defensively, giving up just 66 points a game. Now, no Notre Dame can put points on the board. They average almost 79 a game. And they're not a real good defensive team either. They give up like 70, 71 a game, right around that range. But I think that all these factors combined tonight, I think that Clemson, having lost two out of three, will refocus its defense tonight. The Tigers so stiff defensively. Don't you see this game being, you know, a 63-62, a 60-55 final? That's what I see. And when I look at this game at a total of 138 points, I don't think the linemakers have taken into account all the factors involving both of these teams and how you are playing into the strength of Clemson's defense 
and the road fatigue affecting, I think, Notre Dame tonight. And I think that will hinder their offense. But again, I think this could be a very, very close game right down to the wire. And I don't see either one of these teams getting out of the mid-60s, low-60s. So I think this total is going to finish right around 122, 125. That's why I like the under in the game. That'll do it, guys. Best of luck to you all. I'll catch you again tomorrow when we do this one more time.